Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Not. Truly speaking, it's uh, George Drozda Jr. and you also know me as Moltenan. You may have seen my tutorials on the cow or on my own website. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself properly because for some reason people are confused most of the time what's my real name and such. So I come from Poland and my Polish name is Jerzy and that translates to English as George. Maltanen is just my nickname. Since Aaron is sick, he asked me to take his place until he gets well, so here I am giving you a worthless introduction of myself instead of doing a podcast, but uh, that's over now. Today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of watermarks in a video and restore original pixels covered by that watermark. The method I'm going to show you is not perfect, but it'll do the job most of the time. Okay, let's get started. So here I am in my After Effects and I have this footage and as you can see we have a nasty watermark at the bottom. So how do we get rid of that? Basically you need two things. One, you need a clean plate with a watermark itself and two, you need to be really lucky. In this example we have a clean plate so we don't need to do any additional work. First, take the footage and make a new comp out of it by dragging it onto Make New Comp button at the bottom of the project panel. Then select the layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D or Command D on the Macintosh. Select the upper layer if it's not already selected and apply Effects Channel Invert. Believe it or not we are already halfway through. Do you know what happens when you put positive and negative together? We get a neutral. That's the whole secret. Next. Since we have a clean plate with a watermark at the beginning of the clip, we want to freeze that frame, as it will be used to remove the logo from the footage. Treat it as a logo reference. And if you don't have a clean plate, try to recreate the logo in Photoshop for example, save it as a PNG file, import it back to After Effects and use that as the upper layer. To freeze the frame, right click on the layer and choose Time Freeze Frame. You don't need to do that, of course, if you're using a PNG file. And now, for the final step, change the transfer mode of the upper layer to Color Burn. And there you go. Looks nice? Oh, I know it does. I know it does until you see that small outline of the watermark, like a leftover of the logo. But don't worry, we can fix that. The outline is created because a different shade of grey was used in the logo, so it burns differently than the rest of it. I'd also like to point out that this technique will work with solid color watermarks, ideally a white logo with a 50% opacity. In other cases you might have to play around a bit more, but let's focus on what we have here. To get rid of the leftovers of the logo, we need to do two things. First create the adjustment layer with effects applied to it and second restrict the area the adjustment layer affects by creating a mask. To create a new adjustment layer go to layer new adjustment layer. First thing you want to do is to draw a mask that will cover the logo but not the rest of the footage. Click on the rectangular mask tool and draw a mask around the logo. Next go to the mask properties and feather the mask out a bit. You don't have to worry about this very much because you can always change it later on. Since we've set up the mask we can now apply some effects to the adjustment layer. Select the adjustment layer and go to Effects, Channel, Minimax. Set the radius to something between 1 and 3. I'll use 2 in this case. As you can see the outline disappeared, but the footage altered by the adjustment layer does not look as nice as the rest of the image. We can fix that also. Apply Effects, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur and set the blurriness value to 10 or whatever fits you. Remember to check the Repeat Edge Pixels checkbox. For the final step, since original footage has a noise in it, for the final step we're going to apply a little bit of noise to our adjustment layer. By the way, when I'm compositing a CG with live action footage, for example, in most cases I apply some noise to it. It makes the whole composition more believable. Go to Effects, Noise and Grain, 
noise and set the amount of noise to a low value like 2 or 3. Remember to uncheck use color noise. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of After Effects Podcast. Once again, this is Aaron Rub. No, uh, for the first time, this is Maltenon for creativecow.net. Signing off.